As you prepared for this day, you answered dozens and dozens and dozens of questions about each other and about yourselves and about every category of life together may, uh, you may bump into. And, and as you were so much in alignment in so many, many categories, all kinds of ways, the, the, the one statement which you had the highest possible mutual agreement on, upon, you had the highest possible mutual agreement on this statement. I am looking forward to growing old with my partner. Today is absolutely the best day of my life. Today we enter into the covenant of marriage. Today I become your wife. Wally, I'm so grateful for the way that the Lord has brought us together and continues to grow us closer as one. I am so grateful that he chose you for me. I promise that I will always pick you. I promise to always choose you. I promise to mess up and get things wrong. I promise to realize and recognize that you will too. I promise to be forgiving and graceful. You have absolutely exceeded all of my wants and needs, and you continue to do so. I can't wait to spend forever with you. Right from the start, being with you just felt right. And now almost six years later, I can't wait to wake up with you every morning. I can't wait uh, to never spend another night apart. I can't wait to celebrate all the exciting times that our life brings together. And I can't wait to continue to be the person you cry with when your heart is hurting. I vow to always be racing to the back of the line to put you first with no expectations or demands. Nikki, you are my best friend. You are the best friend I've ever had. I could never thank God enough for allowing me to spend all my days with a woman so beautiful, funny, and caring as you. Oh, oh my goodness. Like what do you mean this is beautiful? Yeah, this is so nice. You look really oh, nice. You're so exciting. <laughs> Wally, thank you for loving Nicole unconditionally, for loving her even when she can be the most stubborn person in the world. You are my big sister, my best friend, my biggest fan, and now a wife. I really hope one day you realize how truly special you are, how beautiful you are, especially today, how important you are, and most of all, how loved you are. I know that mom, is here and she is smiling so big knowing that this day has finally come her presence shines through each of us every day but especially through you today she was always so proud of the both of you and i know how happy she is to know that wally is finally part of our family truly wally and nicole you have surrounded yourselves with an incredible community here and I know I speak for everyone when I say how much we look forward to the gift that your marriage will be to all who encounter. I pray when you look upon each other, you may remember today's new covenant. But how do you do that in real life though? How do you love with that unbreaking, always and forever love in the moments of your marriage that aren't quite as beautiful as the moments of your wedding day? See, unfortunately, marriage can sometimes act like a microscope. It can turn little things into big things. I mean, who knew such havoc could be created by choosies? Yes, the little things can seem to be big things, but Nicole, I'm telling you, it's gonna be okay. And Wally, you'll survive, even if Nicole doesn't give up thick crew to be part of your wimpy workouts. Just let it go, man. <laughs> yes, little things get blown up out of proportion, and like a microscope, the insignificant can seem oversized. It's so easy to start looking through the marriage microscope. But Wally and Nicole, you are Christians. You don't bring a microscope into your marriage, you bring a telescope. And you'll swing the aim of that telescope around and you'll show the world what the unimaginably big looks like in real life. Hi, Wally, take you, Nicole. To be my wife and my best friend. To be my wife and my best friend. In the presence of God and our family and friends. In the presence of God and our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow to be your partner. I offer you my solemn vow to be your partner. In sickness and in health in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in good times and in bad, in joy as well as in sorrow, in joy as well as in sorrow, 
I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to be a man who loves God and honors Him with our marriage. I promise to be a man that loves God and honors Him in our marriage. Wally and Nicole, you've come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've made promises of faith and devotion and have sealed this covenant by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a servant of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wally, I'm honored to be your best man and I had the greatest time writing the speech, thinking about all that we've been through together. From what I've heard, Wally and I don't have the normal brotherly relationship. He's my best friend and there's never been a day that has ended where we were on bad terms. Now, Nicole, thank you for loving my brother the way that you do. And I'm so thrilled to welcome you to the Stern family. I know how much you mean to Wally and how excited he was for you to be his wife. So I'm more than happy to accept second place because this is going to be the new best week of his life. You're an incredible couple and I look forward to seeing you two to grow together and achieve your dreams. 